It's a Bridgerton Regency Corps extravaganza here on The Daily Connoisseur on a new three articles on dress. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. My name is Jennifer and I have a really exciting three articles on dress for you today. We are going to explore the fashionable world of Netflix's hit show Bridgerton with three juicy articles. Today's video is sponsored by Function of Beauty. I'm going to share more about their amazing hair care with you later in the video, but for now, let's jump into the first article from British Vogue. I have a little confession to make to you. I have not actually seen Bridgerton. <laughs> I don't have Netflix. I have not seen it. I know a lot of people who love it. They say it is very racy. So to be aware of that. So I just wanted to let you know that. Are you ready for hashtag Regency Corps? Here's how to dress like a debutante by Alice Carey. There's a new buzzword doing the rounds on social media, Regency Corps. The popularity of Netflix's hit series Bridgerton, which reportedly drew an audience of 63 million following its Christmas Day debut, is responsible for the decadent trend and it's high time you got on board. Despite the fact that many of us still find ourselves working from home, fans of the show, and the Duke of Hastings and his spoon have been eager to emulate the maximalist gowns and head turning jewelry of the ton's leading ladies. According to List, searches for corsets have spiked by 123% since the show first aired, while interest in pearl and feathered headbands has risen by 49%. Elbow length gloves, the Anta Marigold, have also experienced a renaissance as have empire line dresses for which searches have soared by 93%. So long cottage core cardies and flat caps. 21 is all about feather trims and cap sleeves. What are you waiting for? Shop the Regency core trend below. So this is an article on Vogue and they share popular Regency core trend items. So let's have a look here. The first one is this corset top. So there has been a major resurgence of corset purchasing. Isn't that strange? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go buy a corset anytime soon, but they are pretty popular right now. And while I don't personally want to wear an actual corset, I do like the idea of a corset top. I think it's very romantic with the right skirt. Here is a pearl headband. And funny enough, I actually own a pearl headband and it's by Sky. Sky has some beautiful Regency core style headgear. This is an off the shoulder dress from Brock Collection and it's an all white. So I am seeing parallels with the cottage core trend. It's very feminine, the clothes that we're seeing here. Also, I'm seeing a lot of white, cream, and blue. Let's move all the way down to this Empire Line dress by Pinko. Now this color is quite bold, but I think the emphasis here would be on the Empire waist. So we're thinking Regency era, think Jane Austen. Bridgerton. And of course that is a very flattering silhouette, especially if you have a tummy that you'd like to hide or any other issues because it drapes right underneath the bust line. Look at this beautiful dress by Gian Battista Valli. This is a cap sleeve lace insert dress and this is beautiful. So I'm all about the white dresses as I told you last year when I was in the cottage core trend and I have that white dress from Target. I actually think that that's gonna go well with this Regency core latest trend. So there's an emphasis on adorning yourself with headbands, with pearls, with gloves. Absolutely beautiful. So I couldn't be more thrilled about this Regency core look. I think that it is a variation off of cottage core. It's a bit more regal, a bit more expensive looking, whereas cottage core, I guess if you could say is a little more bohemian, maybe a little bit more hippie, if I could say that. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you like the Regency core fashion trend? Do you like it better than cottage core? Or do you not like either of them? Let us know in the comment section down below. Before we move on to the next article, let's talk about function of beauty. So I continue to get compliments on my hair, even though I am in desperate need of a haircut, but people can see that my hair is really healthy. I've been using function of beauty, customizable hair care for the past few months, their shampoo and conditioner. And this time I also tried their hair mask. These are the hair goals that I use to customize my bottles. I wanted anti-frizz, deep condition, nourish roots, straighten and thermal protection. I selected the color for the hair care and I went with this beautiful lavender color and the scent I chose this time was the rose scent in Strong because I love roses and the scent is really excellent. It's like a real fresh floral, lovely rose fragrance. 
I even have my name on the bottles. The hair mask is amazing. You put it on your hair once a week and you leave it on for 20 minutes and then you rinse it out. My hair is so soft and fluffy after I use that mask. I love it. So get 20% off your first set when you use my link in the description box below. Thank you to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. All right, the next article comes from Birdie and it's about Regency Core makeup trends. It's called Regency Core is the Bridgerton inspired makeup trend you'll want to try ASAP. It says move aside cottage core written by Amanda Ross. So the beginning of the article discusses what Regency Core is and what Bridgerton is. And because we already discussed that, I'm going to skip that part and get straight to the makeup recommendations. And you're going to be seeing some of the models' faces here who are wearing the Bridgerton inspired look. They're interviewing makeup artist, Toby Henney. She's talking about how to get this look. So Henny suggests a light application of foundation, which can be built up to fuller coverage according to suit individual needs. A lightweight foundation can settle into a natural finish. And the key here, she says, is using a beauty blender that is damp because it makes the skin look like skin. Blush is the tent pole of Regency Core Bridgerton makeup. And Henny points out that coordinating your blush and lip colors with similar tones is key. A berry toned cream, so she's suggesting cream based makeup. Makeup. It can be used all over the face, but when placed along cheekbones and when blending out, it gives the contour enhancing natural blush to the face for a boost of vitality. Careful not to carve out too much though, as it could change the desired effect of your makeup altogether. Avoid too much contouring, Henny warns. The cheeks and blush were more prominent. And for complimentary lips, she suggests wearing a light pink shade which gives rosy undertones in both the cheek and lip shades to create one continuous color story on your face. For true Regency heads, the makeup is as central to the look as the clothes. Bridgerton's depiction of Regency era makeup is all about emphasizing bone structure with cream-based products and rosy romantic tones, perfect for a clandestine meeting with your star-crossed lover. To get the dreamy look, Toby Henney makes it clear that the first step is a robust skincare routine for a smooth and clean surface. So she says, I think the makeup is a simple, fresh, youthful skin teamed with a very soft, pretty eye and a touch of blush and lip in similar tones. She goes on to share her recommended products, which you can check in the article link down below. And then it says, unlike what feels like every other makeup look, the eyes are the easiest part of the Regency Core vibe. Henny skips eyeshadow and color altogether in favor of some natural looking lash enhancing brown mascara, followed by a quick brow brush up. Eyebrows are another area that's kept relatively simple with Henny's suggestion as a simple coat or clear gel for a natural brow. Here's what I find interesting about this. I just recently did a video on minimalist makeup from Merit, that new line by Catherine Power. And that is truly this Regency era look. I love it because it's so easy to apply. It's just creamy and fresh and natural. So I can definitely recommend the brand Merit. Another wonderful brand that has a lot of natural cream-based makeup is Adele Natural Cosmetics. And I'll leave both of those linked down below if you want to achieve some Regency era beauty. And the final article comes to us from Vogue and it's about something very near and dear to my heart, which is the fancy tea set. This article is by Elise Taylor and it's called, Thanks to Bridgerton, Fancy Tea Sets Have Become the New Home Must Have. The Netflix show, which chronicles the love lives and misdeeds of genetically blessed aristocrats, ushered Regency era England back into my and our collective aesthetic consciousness. It was a period of art, lavish ornamentation, and more noticeable to me, tea parties with dainty Delftware dishes and delectable confections. When Daphne Bridgerton lounged in her sitting room waiting for suitors, she was surrounded by an array of stylish saucers. Penelope Featherington snacked on sophisticated sandwiches while her snarky sister sat nearby. Meanwhile, Queen Anne ordered her subjects to both sip and spill the tea. With a few quick clicks and a buy now, I suddenly found myself part of the tea set set. Turns out, I was far from alone. This month, Google searches for tea reached an all-time high in the United States. Etsy experienced a 110% increase in searches for tea sets compared to January 2020. Pinterest has also seen several loose-leaf inquiries skyrocket. 
People often turn to Pinterest in search of ways to bring these popular pop culture moments into their daily routine. And in this case, pinners are searching for all things tea related. Searches for afternoon tea at home have increased and along with it, creamy tea recipes, tea sets vintage and Victorian tea sets. Their top term is elegant tea sets, which is up 65% year over year. It's not exactly a new phenomenon. Pop culture has often influenced our purchases. Sex in the City made Manolo Blahnik a household name. Little Women ignited our passion for prairie dresses. Even Emily in Paris led to a statistical spike in bucket hat interest. So provided it proved popular, Bridgerton was always likely to usher in the arrival of Regency Corps. Then there's the health aspect. Drinking wine on your couch is, sure, usually a good time, but alcohol is also a depressant that if overserved leads to a hangover. Meanwhile, tea is known for its plethora of mental and physical benefits. COVID has made us reprioritize our health and self-care needs, says Sinclair. Not to mention that Tea for Two is a relatively safe pandemic era activity that provides both sustenance and socialization. The drink is easy to brew and its accompanying serving wear is usually quite pretty without being exorbitantly expensive. The whole ordeal feels both effortless and extravagant. I think we're looking for ways to make everyday moments like our morning or evening routines feel a little more special and sophisticated, says Etsy trend expert Dana Isom Johnson. What better way to do that than with a beautiful tea set? Okay, what did you think of the beautiful tea sets I shared with you as I read this article? Of course, you know that I personally love fancy tea sets. I love throwing tea parties. I have a whole tea party video series that I've done here on The Daily Connoisseur. And I think that tea is the most wonderful way to connect with people. It is a non-scary way to entertain because who doesn't love a cup of tea? And the beautiful ritual of pouring tea from a beautiful teapot into an elegant teacup alone is enough to make someone feel special. And all you have to do is provide a few other things, cookies and sandwiches to go along with it. And it's a wonderful way to entertain. So I absolutely love that the Regency core trend and also that teacups and teapots are coming back into style. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use my link in the description box down below for 20% off your first set. Don't forget to keep calm and remain classy and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.